Well, this weekend, a barber in Alger Heights will close his shop doors. He's cut hair for more than 68 years and decided retirement is how he wants to end 2018. That seems like uh, it's appropriate given yeah. the amount of time he's had. 24-hour News 8's Lindsay McComel visited his shop to reminisce about his career behind the chair. I'm of two minds. I, I do want to quit, but yet I want to... I'm going to miss seeing old friends. Mm -hmm. I've cut some people's hair for over 50 years. And I will miss seeing them. A lot of people have sat in Harm Favor's chair over the years. And before that, it was his dad who was behind the chair. He said, well, why don't you go to barber school? That way you get a trade. And if you do want to go to college later, you can work your way through with your trade. Mm -hmm. they, they can never take that away from you. Mm -hmm. And 68 years later, here we are. He's seen a lot in nearly seven decades as a barber. A lot of customers and a lot of history. The day that Kennedy got shot, that was a very strange afternoon. Mm -hmm. I was busy. We didn't have a TV, but we had a radio. And nobody said a word. We were all listening to the radio. As Faber nears retirement, his customers and family are reminding him of all the memories. Who's that good looking guy? I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> That's 40 years ago. These well wishes left for him speak to the camaraderie people feel when they walk through the doors of Alger Heights Barber. As for what's next, Faber will start 2019 with an empty appointment book with endless time to spend with his kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids. They've grown up in his chair and will be some of the last to sit there for a haircut. It's been a good run. A good run, and I appreciate all their loyalty. Reporting in Alger Heights, Lindsay McComel, 24-Hour News 8.